how you doing? Thanks for clicking on this video. If you're new around here, this channel has loads of information on DIYs and also ways to be prepared because I am a firm believer and it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Today, we're gonna go over why this is the most important thing to have on all outdoor related trips like hunting, hiking, fishing, or camping. So make sure to stick around because you need this. All right, I'm not gonna keep you in suspense any longer. This is a fire starting kit and it's great for almost all climates. Let's get right into it. If you're considering and creating your own fire starting pouch, this video is perfect for you. I'm gonna go over everything that I carry in my fire starting kit in the hopes that you will get some ideas of your own. And if you have your own fire kit now, maybe you'll find something in here that you haven't seen before. So let's go over what exactly is holding all my gear here. This is the Maxpedition Medium Fatty Pocket Organizer in OD Green. Now they have different colors but I went with OD Green. This is amazing. The material, the quality, I am so happy with it. I can't tell you how much I love this thing and how rugged it is. And it's it doesn't even look dirty as much as I beat this thing up. Now, as you can see on the front, you have the ability to place any badge you want. I went ahead with the OD Green American flag just so that it matches. There is a pouch on the front that is secured by Velcro, and it gives you some room, not much though, to place anything in here that's typically flat. Quick look on the back, there's not much, but as you can see, it is MOLLE compatible. And a fun fact, MOLLE does stand for Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment. And this thing is amazing. I mean, I am giving that a good tug. It is stitched on there very, very well. If you pick one of these up, I promise you, you will not regret it. The last thing that I want to note about the outside feature is this zipper. The quality of this zipper is amazing. I've never had any issues with it. And I, I'm telling you, you are not going to regret picking up one of these. So let's go ahead and go over what I've got inside. As you can see, there is all the ways that you can configure your kit. I mean, as you can see here, I've got a ton of stuff jam packed in here. Now there are two pockets on the inside. One of them is open, the other one is secured by a zipper. I keep them both open. And as you can see here, you do have a loop and a place to hang anything that you wish. I personally don't use those two features, but it's there. Let's go ahead and start from this side and work our way through. We're gonna go ahead and start towards the back where the pockets are. So I like to carry the Leatherman Skeletool KB. This thing is awesome. It is so lightweight too. And that's a big thing for me is weight. Now, yeah, this is not heavy. This whole thing is not heavy. But in the grand scheme of things, when you're carrying out all your gear, less is always more. This thing is awesome. And as you can see, there are holes all over it, so it reduces the weight. But man, this knife is great, and it has so many uses. I like to use it for creating tinder. Next, I carry with me a knife sharpener, and this is the Smith's two-step knife sharpener. You have both your coarse blade and your ceramic rods. I love this thing. It barely weighs anything, but it does an amazing job, and it's super cheap on Amazon. Just so you know, I'm gonna link as many of these items down in the description below if you wish to pick something up for yourself. And just to note, I do make a small commission off of it and I would appreciate the support. That's everything that I keep on the back pocket. We'll go ahead and move towards the front and grab the collapsible blower pipe or a portable bellow. If you don't know what it does, you go ahead, open it and you blow on the bigger side and you point the smaller side towards your campfire and it allows you to keep it in your mouth and be hands-free while you're working on a fire. I think that's super important, especially if you're working with a tiny ember that you're trying to ignite for the first time and you just wanna just baby that fire, that tiny ember into a fire, this is gonna do it for you because you don't have to get your face all up in there. You could just have this. And it's also great for restarting a fire or creating a bigger flame, it has so many uses for this. So this thing, this thing to me is a must in my kit. The next thing I have here, it's, it's just a normal lighter. It's nothing special. This is kind of cheating in my opinion, but I still have it just in case. I rarely use this thing, but I keep it in my kit just in case of an emergency where nothing else is working, I'll go towards this. And as you can see, it's, it's full. I, I never use this thing. Moving along down the line, I have next a magnesium fire starter. 
I've used this a few times, but again, I have so many different methods of starting a fire, I'm never stuck to just one of them. And I think that's key, especially when you're outdoors or in a survival situation. I carry this because it just fits and it barely weighs anything. I'm sure you've all seen these and how it works, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you right here that a coconut husk lights up fairly quickly with just a few strikes. But of course, this is a dry environment. However, I just wanted to show you how well this application works. Next, I have a ferro rod kit. This is awesome. Now this one in particular comes with a paracord lanyard. So if you ever find yourself needing some paracord, bam, I already have it here. I do wrap paracord on a lot of my gear, so I always have it, whether your shoelace goes bad, you need to tie something up. The possibilities for paracord are endless. This thing is mean. As you can see in this demonstration, I have a petroleum cotton ball and it took absolutely little effort to start the flame with that ferro rod. Next, I have one of my favorite items in this bag, and this is homemade. And I think it's super important to have and also super cheap to make. This is a petroleum jelly cotton ball. And I have a ton of them in here. This is usually my go-to because these things, once you light them up, they'll stay lit for at least a minute. And that's honestly more than enough time to get a fire going. And as you can see here in this example, these things light up immediately. You just wanna make sure you go ahead and pull them apart and kind of get them a little light and airy like you would with any normal tinder so that they're gonna take a spark a lot easier. And they are gonna stay lit like I mentioned for a while. So these things are awesome. And you can make as many as you want because they practically cost next to nothing to produce. Moving towards the other side, I carry with me stormproof matches. These things are great and if you're not aware, these are waterproof. And this container, it carries, I can't remember, I believe it's 25 of them. There is a piece of cotton ball that they provide so that you can create your own tinder, as well as the striker is on the back. And there is an O-ring right there on the lid that also prevents any moisture from entering this container. This thing is awesome. I love this. You wanna consider picking up one of those. I don't always use them, only in the event that if it's raining outside and everything else is just drenched, I can't get a fire going, I always opt for that. Next is tinder. It's just tinder. There's nothing special about it. If I can't find anything around me, I can make some myself. Next is one of my favorite pieces. And let me tell you something, almost every household has one of these. And I'm referring to what's inside, okay? You ready? Lint, dryer lint. Everybody's gotta have dryer lint. This stuff is so flammable. And there's so much of it. Every time you dry clothes, you gotta empty out the lint but don't throw it away, keep some of it. And I keep it in this container, which I'll see if it's still available on Amazon and I'll link it down below. This container is waterproof, so it keeps the moisture out. I love this thing. I use this often, 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 because I have so much of it. Following the dryer lint is matches. There's, no, there's nothing special about matches. It's just, it's just there, why not? It takes up no space, it weighs nothing, and it's just another method of starting a fire. So why wouldn't you wanna just carry it with you? The last thing that I carry in here is one of my favorite items. And I've only used it once. Not this one in particular, I have another one. But I always carry this one in this pouch because again, I mean, look how thin this is. If I had to guess, this was maybe five ounces, maybe even less than that. What is it? It's a portable stove. Look at this. This is the coolest thing. This little stove is really quick and easy to put together. What I love about this is how thin and small it actually is. You just place both of these in their appropriate places, drop the pin down through the hinges and check it out. You have yourself a miniature stove. What? It has holes on the bottom, so you're gonna allow fresh air to travel through. It has a little area to feed the wood, and you have the open spot on the top. So you can place anything on here, like a pan, warm up some food, boil some water. The most amazing thing about this is everything fits in this small Maxpedition pocket organizer. That's why I believe this is an important piece of equipment that you should keep with your supplies whenever you do anything outdoor related and you know you're gonna need to set up a fire. If you stuck around to the end of the video, thanks. I always appreciate that. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this video helpful. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to check out my other videos. I'll see you over there.
There we go. Ah. Blah.